Welcome to TestTube, a place where we can share our knowledge through short videos. You can send me the videos to that email shown in over here and I will publish it for you with your name on it. The video can be anything about any problem that you have faced and how you have solved it. In this video, we will see how to submit um, income tax returns uh, in India for the salaried employees who might be working in government sectors or private companies or IT companies on their own. Uh, and this can be done in five minutes with the help of your Form 16. Now, uh, let's see how it is done. Uh, you have to log into this website. Uh, income tax india efiling.com and dot in and you have to click on the register login here button uh, if you are not registered it you have to register yourself it will ask some basic details including your pan card and that's how you register it once you register it you have to click on the login button here and once you click on the login button you will be asked to enter the user id password <clears throat> which you have set during registration your razor id is going to be your pan number and you enter the password and uh, enter the captcha code and click on the login button then you will be entered uh, into your account page so there are many links i'll let you go through all the links by yourself but uh, now we are going to see how to file returns for the income tax so for this you have to click on this e-file uh, tab under this you have to click on income tax returns so once you click on income tax returns it will take you to this page wherein you will be asked to enter i mean your pan number will be already there uh, after that you have to select the assessment here uh, if you are filling the returns for financial financial year uh, 1990 to 20 your assessment year is going to be 20 to 21 so you have to select that accordingly and the nature of ITR form you are going to fill is ITR1 mm. if it is the first time you are filling the returns and there will be different forms they are for different purpose but to file the returns for the first time and if you are a normal employee uh, either working in government sector or a private sector like software company ITR1 is your option then you will select the filing type as original or revised return so in the submission mode you have to choose prepare and submit online and there is another option called upload XML also it's a sort of manual way of filling it but in this video since we are talking about preparing it and submitting it online you have to select that option which is very quicker and faster you will complete filing your returns in not more than five minutes so if you have registered your account uh, it will be pre-populated over here otherwise you have to register your bank account uh, in one of those options that you can uh, uh, explore the website and find it out and then you click on continue so once you plan continue it will show you this message box wherein you have to select this checkbox and agree to all the conditions and you shouldn't be changing any pre-filled data so if you change the pre-filled data then your income tax return may go invalid and you have to do it again uh, so that's why don't uh, try to tamper any pre-filled data and just click on continue saying that you accept it and these are the next pages that you are going to fill uh, these are the tabs which you are seeing over here the first tab is for instructions you can go through all of them uh, but this will be very generic after that you have to uh, fill in some personal details and of course these are pre-filled you, you just have to cross check those details and that is all and you have to select the nature of employment if you are into private sector you choose others and if you are into other sectors which are relevant you can choose it and you leave uh, 139 in braces 1 on before due date as it is and you will see a drop down box uh, which will show like select option in there you have to select no mostly uh, most of us will be falling under the option uh, 
has no category uh, so if you read it if you feel that this is somewhere relevant to you you have to click on select and fill the details what you are asked for but most of us will fall into the category where we have to select no you select no and click on to next page which is um, about a tax filling part now this is the computations of income on tax base mm, this is the page where you want to check the details and in fact you don't have to even check because these are all pre-filled data this directly comes from your form 16 submitted by your employer so you don't have to in fact actually verify it instead you just click on the next button and go to the tax paid and verification page and submit it so it will be done in two minutes so that's how you can fill it very quickly but uh, if you are going to be a first timer you may need you may want to have a look at it and try to compare it with the form 16 so now we'll do a cross check so that we know these figures are correct okay so this is my total salary and this is uh, leave travel allowance and this is the hra and this is going to be my salary of this let me check just check uh, this against my form 16 uh, this is the total salary you can see this is the leave trial allowance this is the house rental allowance so it's matching as you see and if you go down further you see the professional tax and you see the standard deduction of this one and this one and finally the income chargeable is going to be around 6 lakhs now let us see the same thing in our form 16 you can see the form Tax payable, tax payable is going to be 10,000 and the rebate I may get is 10,000 so finally it's going to be 0 for me um, there could be somebody who could be taking the house loan for such people um, you have to fill it uh, here um, type of house property you can choose self occupied and here interest payable on borrowed capital so you can um, enter the interest amount that you are paying for example 70,000 you can is something which you can enter but you should have an interest certificate uh, given by the banks so if you have already submitted these details in, uh, to your employer uh, it may be here but if just in case it's not here you can still enter it so that it will be considered and, and you can see that um, it is reflected here and your total salary is reduced to 3 lakhs earlier it was some, somewhere around 4 lakhs and then one more thing is if you are choosing um, the house property uh, stuff HRA is not applicable for you so since I have HRA and I don't have any loans, so I don't have to select this one. But if you are paying any loan, uh, then you can't select this one. Then you can't select this one. You have to select the, the interest you are paying on. So that is 
all like this and now what you can do is uh, okay uh, i have checked this one i'm happy with this one the data is correct so click on next and the next you are going to have the tax details if you have paid any tax so since you are not paying any tax you will see uh, there is no tax for you and, and that's all this is going to be the final page uh, yeah, you just have to click on that one uh, sorry my tax is zero so everything is zero for me if you have some tax it will be appearing here and if your employer what is a company you are working for your employer would have deducted it so it will reflect, reflect the numbers over here and that is all this is the bank information uh, which you might have given if you haven't given you can still give it so that if there is any amount that needs to be refunded it will be refunded into this one and if you have some tax amount to be paid uh, it will be reflected here and you will get a link uh, to pay the tax so you can click on that link and pay the tax and submit the returns so since i don't have to do anything i can just go on so here you have to enter um, the place Self, you have self, self, because self, what you are doing, and you will get three options to submit. You can choose any of this. This one will be quicker. Um, that you, you don't have to do any stuff. It will be verified online itself, and it will be very easy for you. And since I have a problem with my Aadhaar, that my Aadhaar has a different phone number, I'm not choosing this option. Instead, I will choose um, to verify by some post, uh, which is for me. But in most of you, for you, it, this will be an easiest option. If your other number has uh, the right phone number that is currently linked to your uh, bank account and all, um, but since I don't have this one, I'm choosing this option. So you just have to click on preview and submit. And that is all how to submit. Uh, IT returns. So that's how you have to submit your income tax returns. Uh, before we submit it, I'll just walk you through into the other tabs, such as uh, Schedule ATD, ATG, and ATGGA, whatever. Uh, if these are relevant for you, you have to fill in those as well and then click on Submit uh, before you preview it. So ATD is about uh, declaring of uh, parental insurance if any of your parents are senior citizens you have to select yes and you have to uh, choose the amount if uh, you are a senior citizen you have to choose it over here as s if your parents are senior citizens you have to click on select here and you have to enter the amount if you have any health insurance that you have taken you have to enter that otherwise you can enter the amount under preventive health check check up as well and there is a limit for it uh, the limit is 10,000 together for both of these so that's what you have you can enter in schedule ATD and so see I have entered 5,000 here and if I go and check back on the tax paid and verification page um, I mean the come computation tax page you will see that the 5000 amount over here so whatever you have entered here is, is anyways appearing in your uh, the calculation part so that's how you can cross check and now let's see what is ATG for okay you can see it over here also and now let's see what is ATG for so mm, ATG is again for the donations you can report the donations which you have made and get a tax em exemption over it and ATGGA is about uh, donations related to 
scientific research and rural development the earlier donations are related to uh, some social services related stuff uh, and this donation is for purely scientific research and rural development purposes so you can mention the donations whichever you are contributing and get a tax exemption for those contributions so after you do it you can go back to your uh, tax calculation page and cross check these details are reflecting over there and then click on preview and submit and then submit then you will see an acknowledgement form here uh, with the transaction id and the same is sent to your mail id which is registered as an invoice so that's how uh, this is done very simple it can be done within five minutes i took some time because i have to explain otherwise if you do it by yourself um, it will hardly take five minutes and if you don't have anything that rooms to be filled in ATD, ATD, ATG, ATGGA, um, it'll take uh, even lesser time because all the other tabs are pre-filled tabs. You just have to proceed, proceed and click on submit. 